Here's your NBC 26 update. I'm Regina on New developments tonight in the death of a seven-year-old boy in Manitowoc County. Court records say Ethan Husholtz died last April from hypothermia and injuries to the chest, head, and stomach area. Investigators say Ethan's faced punishment in the form of carrying a heavy wooden log. Records say he lived with court-appointed guardians. Investigators say a 15-year-old also living with Ethan hit and kicked Ethan and buried him in snow. All three of those were in court today for a bail hearing. The village president of Hobart was arrested Friday for suspicion of a third offense, OWI. Brown County jail records show that Richard Heidel paid an $850 cash bond. The village website says he's been president since 2003. Online court records show he had a second offense, OWI arrest, in 2005. We did reach out to Heidel for comment but did not hear back yet. Thawing taking a toll on the runways at General Mitchell Airport this morning. Crews have been working around the clock trying to fix those potholes on one of the runways. No flights have been disrupted and things should be back to normal later this afternoon. Time for a check on weather now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cameron, how is it looking tonight? Well, Regina, much colder weather is going to start to pour back into northeast Wisconsin after a taste of spring. Temperatures in the 40s today and yesterday across most of the viewing area. And both Phil and Jimmy said that spring is here, but not so fast, right? Phil and Jimmy, look what's going on to our north and west. It is 38 degrees in Green Bay. It's 50 in Chicago. But afternoon high temperatures today across North Dakota and Minnesota have only been in the single digits above and below zero. So another frigid air mass moving in from the north and west. Tomorrow temperatures will be running about 20 to 30 degrees colder than what we've seen the last couple of days with highs only in the mid to upper teens. We'll have plenty of clouds and the chance for some snow as we head into tomorrow night and early Wednesday with some minor accumulations. I'll have more on that coming up on NBC 26 later on today. For your latest news, sports and weather, you can always download the NBC 26 News app. It's free. It's available in the App Store and on Google Play. Just search for WGBA. Have a great day.